Hello everyone. Today we are looking at something a little different. I almost feel like I say that in almost every video, but today we are looking at the Fitbit Versa 2. Released in September of 2019, is it still worth it in 2021? is totally. You might not think it, but smartwatches have a way longer lifespan than any smartphone does. Well, to me at least. You could probably give me a Series 0 Apple Watch and I would still be using it for many years to come, even though it was released six years ago. But this is practically five years newer than that. How well does this hold up? What does this watch have that makes it so special? Well, what makes this watch really nice is the endless amount of user-created clock faces. I have mine sent to photograph, which acts like a phone lock screen. Oh, hello, Dwight. Anyways, this is a pretty standard one that just shows the time and the date, as well as any photo you please. Also, this might seem like a decent deal to some people that, personally, I just never use, which is this smartwatch's inclusion of Amazon Alexa. The only annoyance with this is that it always has to be connected to the phone you have it paired to because this watch doesn't come standard with a cellular connection. I happen to have the base version because I don't need to know the weather on my wrist when I'm at school because I have an iPad and something called raising my hand. I wouldn't be surprised if the teacher called my question irrelevant though. The main flaw of this device is the lack of a speaker, so Alexa is text only. That is, if you'd want to use it anyway. I've tried numerous times to turn my bedroom lamp on with this Fitbit Alexa, and it never works. Here, I'll demonstrate. Turn on the lamp. Absolute garbage. <laughs> turn on the lamp. This device is pretty competent for an adult as well. This watch has its own version of Apple Pay, which is cleverly named Fitbit Pay. This is unfortunately a feature I cannot describe or show my opinion on how well it works because I'm not an adult and I don't have a credit card. So go watch other people's opinions about it. One thing that was made that was added into the most recent Fitbit update is an app to find your phone. As long as your phone is nearby and your watch is connected, you can tap the Find Phone button and your phone will temporarily turn its volume up to 100% and play a high-pitched tone. And if you need more attempts, you can just tap the phone icon, which will do the same thing. More fun things are included too! What? You thought this would be a watch with a Starbucks app and that's it? Of course, there's an accelerometer included to track your steps and a heart rate monitor. No electrocardiography though. Another one of my favorite features is the fact that this thing could track your sleep before the Apple Watch could. Plus, it's very reliable. This device's battery is around 5-7 to seven days, maybe 4-6 to six if it's a bit degraded like mine. But I've owned mine since a couple months after launch, which hopefully explains my battery. But the Apple Watch with its 18 hour battery would seriously never get its sleep function used. The Fitbit line of trackers and smartwatches that can track your heartbeat are all compatible with this feature as well. This, al this also lets the watch know when you move around in your sleep, how long you were in light sleep for, how long you were dreaming or in REM stages for, and how long you were in deep sleep for. After syncing my watch after a week of collective sleep scores, I find it fun to see what happened while I was unconscious and how long I slept for in each stage. Some other notable features are a relaxation app to help you, well, relax before whatever you need to do. I've tried it and it works decently enough. 
There's also Spotify, Deezer, and Pandora apps to control your music if you so please. You can even put music on this device too. Even though this device's storage has the same amount of storage as my iPod Nano, but I digress. And that's about it. Of course, this device is totally worth it in 2021. And I'd say, it's gonna be worth it for many more years to come. All in all, I give this a 7 out of 8 on the skip. Hello everyone, I hope you all liked the video. If you'd like to see me do more stuff like this, please consider liking the video and possibly subscribing. It would mean a lot for a road onto 200 subscribers, and every subscriber will feel counted. Anyone who wants to chat with me personally can do so on the official Art and Pips Discord, so please join from the About page.